Hello, lover friends, and welcome to this new year. This week, I got updates for the string helper, the UI helper, and the new relation method for you in level 11.37. Let's go. First, the UI helper is now also dumpable. Thank you, Adrian, for this addition. Next, you can ignore the case with the is check on the string helper. Another new update we have on the string helper, which is this one here, illuminates support. And there is this is method, which was already given, where it can just compare two strings. So is Laravel Laravel. And if we run this, we should get back false. And we do because it's not the same. So if we do change this here to level, this would work. But we also want to make this work by not checking the case. And we can do this now by having this new, what is it called, ignore case. So this means, yes, we want to ignore the case. This means we're saying here true. And now we should get also true back. So this is the same, even though the first letter is different. Because we have now this new ignore case argument here, the third one, which we can use on the is method on the string helper. Thank you, Steve. And last, let's take a look at the new relation method, which I just mentioned before. In this application, we have users and those users have podcasts and podcasts have likes. So how many people like those podcasts? So what we can do in Laravel, so let's say I want to get all the users that have podcasts with at least 100 likes. So I can do this in Laravel by using the where has method. And then this is the relationship, which is called podcast. And here we have a callback, which gets the query. And here we can now make checks on the podcasts of these users. So here in this example, I want to make sure that the user has a podcast where likes are greater than, let's say 100. And then we still have to run this query. All right, let's check this out. Syntax error. Yes, I forgot to end this line here. This is running a few seconds because I have a lot of users and podcasts in this application. So it seems like we have two users. So by the way, we get users back where they have podcasts with at least 100 likes. And we can also check out the query where you can see where we have this um, select inside our where clause for the podcasts. All right, so this is working. Let's also check now for greater than 5,000. Oh, that's 500. 5,000 as well. Let's run this. And yeah, there's one user, one user which has podcasts with 5,000 likes. All right, so this was already working. And there was already a better way to do this with the where relation method. By the way, I did a video just on this method here. So we'll find the links, link somewhere here at the top. So this way we can get rid of the closure. We have all those arguments here inside this where relation method. So give me all the podcasts with likes greater than 500. And then we're running this and this should also work. And it does, yeah, perfect. And now we have just the opposite for this method here, which is called where doesn't have relation, I think so. So now we should get back a lot of users because there are a lot of users in this database that have podcasts with less than 5,000 likes. And you can see we get a lot of users back. So this is now working where it doesn't have relation and there's also an or method as well when you need this. Thank you, Andre. And that's a wrap of this last week's release. Enjoy the new features and tell me which of the ones I showed you liked the most. Tell me in the comments and have a great, wonderful 2025. Bye.